Okay, so I wanted to help you guys with your plasmid maps today. Plasmid maps are used in um, biotechnology as references for engineers um, creating plasmids. So looking at this first plasmid, they're showing you what a double digest would look like using two different uh, endonucleases or restriction enzymes. One is ECOR1, and ECO tells you it comes from the E. coli, and R is a particular strain of E. coli, and 1, it was the first enzyme discovered. So BAMH3 tells you the organism, the strain, and um, the number 1, it was the first enzyme discovered using BAMH. So first, um, the, a, an engineer would do a single digest, so using only one enzyme all by itself, so looking at this ECO R1, if this were the only cut made, this fragment would be the entire length of the plasmid, which we were told in the question that was 20 kilobases. We could have also added up the segments on the map, 6, 8, 4, 2, that would be 20. So the ECO R1 makes a single fragment of the length 20 kilobases. Now, if BAM3 was used, if this is a single digest, that's the only enzyme used. So this enzyme cut was not made. So you would have only one, two, three fragments made. So BAM by itself in a single digest would make a two kilobase, a six kilobase, and a eight plus four, a 12 kilobase fragment. So they should all always add up to the length of the plasmid, which in this case is 26. So in a double digest, using both, well, every cut was made. So you have the three original ones from BAM, the two, the six, and the 12. But what we see is ECO then dissects the 12 kilobase from the BAM and makes an 8 and a 4 fragment. So that is a little bit more. So ECO R1 plus BAM, that's called the double digest, and it would do all of the fragments. So moving up here into the second one you're supposed to do. I actually have to work upside down for this. Um, you have a single digest created by HEP A1. So if this is my plasmid, not very circular, um, I want to make a single restriction. And so the full length of this fragment is 26. So the length of HPA1 would be 26. Now HIND, I could do a second circle if I really wanted to see how these digest individually. So the second one, HIND3, the plasmid is still going to be 26 all the way around. Oops. So with HIND, it's going to make a 13, which I know is half. I like to always look at this kind of like a clock. So it makes a 13 kilobase here. And then that means the other side will add up to 13. And half of 13 is like six and a half. So just shy of half will be the six kilobase section. And then four and three, so you got seven left, right? Six plus seven is 13. So 4 and 3 make 7, which so just a little bit more than half is going to be 4 and 3. So I should have put the 13 over here. So those three cuts will be made, sorry, those three cups will, cuts will be made with hint. Now in the double digest, you're going to have this one on top of that one. So I try to see how that's going to dissect. So I see that this has a 6, 4, and 3 still in it which we already have a 6, 4, and 3. It makes a seven, a second 6 and a 7. 
and 6 plus 7 equals 13, right? Which is the segment here. So, that means the one and only cut that is made by HEP1 has to dissect that 13. So it has to split it into a 7 and a 6. So slightly half, right? 6 and 7. So this will be your HPA1. And then these are all from HIND. HIND 3. Alright, so that's how you would do the second one.